Okay, so um, I'm going to look at basic butterfly count and what I mean by butterfly count. Um, I believe that butterfly count is like a, a way of halfway down the mechanic guard. You can see me lying down. In wrestling, this would be a bad place to be. The more I can get up, the better. So I use butterfly guard because it's in between being able to get to my knees and go forward or stand up. And it's gives me still enough room that if I'm getting attacked to be able to lie down and use some kind of uh, open guard to keep them away from me. Okay, so um, I use butterfly guards an awful lot. Uh, Graham uses butterfly guards an awful lot. We have one other person who uses butterfly guards in the gym. Um, and we are obviously very superior to those people because we use butterfly guards in the gym. So what I'm going to do is a basics about butterfly guard or what I believe to be the basics about butterfly guard. Okay, my butterfly guard. This is all stolen from Marcelo Garcia, who teaches it much better than I do. Uh, but um, I will show you what I will teach in a minute. Once I'm in butterfly guard, I've got my feet in the front. Now it doesn't really matter if my feet are crossed like this, and if you've seen my lazy donkey guard, I've actually worked from here these days. Um, stops me getting chin pinched and stops the leg locks quite a lot. Um, but let's pretend we're going back to the school butterfly guard. My hands come in front of my ankles. He's going to be doing things like trying to reach for my ankles. That allows me to try and catch his hands before he does so. Okay, so he's reaching down there. I'm just catching his hands. Right, my aim, my aim at this point really is to get two on one. What do I mean by that? I need to get a wrist control and a bicep, uh, bicep elbow control. Okay, and you can do it like this or like this. Me personally, I like doing it like this. So. My hands are out in front, stopping things happening, and really the winning battle here is in the hand fight. Yeah? If he grabs my wrist, I need to shake that off. Okay, so there's two ways I can do it. Alright, there's one way to turn my hand on from the side, Aikido style. And what I found out from the 84-year-old Aikido woman that I went to a seminar a few months ago was that if you hold that really tight and it's bent, it's quite difficult to get you know, your start with that. But what I found out from her was that straighten the arm, it just pops out very easily, so the straighter you make the arm, the better, alright? What Marcelo teaches at this point, he teaches you to hit that hand up, okay? And it works really well for Marcelo, and when Marcelo grabs your arm, then that's his arm basically, so you can hit it side of your arm, and just take punch. So, anyway, hand fighting is the most important thing. If he does grab my wrist, knock them off if I can, or I turn them out. If he grabs my ankle, that's going to be a moment where I sit back, turn this out, put it back in, he grabs the other ankle, turn this out, put it back in. The other thing that I can't allow him to do is to control my head. If he controls my head, it's awful, okay? So I can't allow him to do this. So as soon as he tries to control my head, I need to make sure I can catch this. And this is a really good setup for getting on the two and one. If he really knows what he's doing, he really wants me flat to my back. Yeah? So he'll start pushing my head. All right? If he pushes my head, it's going to put me back or it's going to make me send my hands back. What Marcelo does, I don't think he teaches it, but what Marcelo does is he sits forward with his spine at like not quite 45 degrees, but 37.6 degrees. But he does an angle, so if his head gets hit, it actually drives down his spine into the floor. It's really hard for me to push him over. Even if Graham stands up and pushes my head, he's pushing me actually into the floor. It's hard for him to push me back flat. Okay, so we've got to take all those things into um, that's the one consideration. Yeah, his feet are at the front, but my hands are in the way of those. I've got to protect those feet and things. I've got to be able to grab these wrists, and it's all in the hand fight. I'm constantly trying to get onto the inside bicep. Grabs hold of something and pop out like that. These can go and slot in when I'm going to use them. My whole aim really is to get to here at first. If I can get to here, I can set up a load of attacks. My main attacks from here are the sweeps. All right, I want to be in the top control room instead of the top control road. Yeah. Okay. So, hope that helps. Um, have a look at maintaining the. 